Now look, in the past couple years, I've told numerous different people that I am not going to college. And every single time that I say that, the response is automatically, what do you mean you're not going to college? And I usually just respond with, well, college is a scam. And instantly, they lose it. What do you mean college is a scam? What are you talking about? And I never get too into it with people. But right now, I'm going to sit down and explain to you why for me and a whole lot of other people out there, college is quite literally a scam. So my first point about college being a scam is that the education system is quite literally an indoctrination machine. They use it to indoctrinate the youth and they use it to control generation after generation. And it's not just from one side either. Both Democrats and Republicans and everybody in between has utilized this tool in the past. And it's always some nonsense about gender studies or guns or climate change or whatever. Listen, both sides have done this, but in college right now, there's primarily one side being pushed. I'm pretty sure you can figure out what side it is, but if you can't, it's the same one that's arguing that there's 28 different genders and that, you know, everybody's oppressed and all this garbage. But my main point is that the education system is indoctrinating children from the ages of five, six, seven years old to think about things in a certain way. And college is a continuation of that all the way now to the ages of 22, 23, 24, and so on. But the difference is that for college, you're actually paying for it. Now, my next point about college is that if everybody had the option to go and get a loan for something else at the age of 18, nobody will go to college. You can get a loan for college, for university, whatever, but you cannot use that money for anything else right now. Because if they would open up loans to other things and they would really put college on the fair market of capitalism, it would fail desperately. Like if I were to give an 18 year old right now $100,000 and I can say, listen, you can go and get a degree, you can put it into some crypto coin, you can start a business, you can do really whatever you want with it, right? Who's gonna choose getting a degree? Nobody. So they say that you can only get the money for university, which then allows it to operate inside of a vacuum. And because it works in a vacuum, it's not competitive to anything else out there on the free market, and everybody knows that. But you can't get the money for anything else, so you end up doing it anyway. So now say that you go to college, right? And this is, this is my next point right now. Everything that you learn in college is pretty much outdated information. Let me give you an example. So because I'm very much into the world of business, finance, all that stuff, whatever. When I talk about college with people, they generally will say, oh, you know, you should go get a degree in business. So I'm going to use getting a degree in business as an example. So I go to college for business. Now I'm learning from a professor who's teaching us all about the different ways to market different businesses. This professor, whoever he is, chances are is that A, he either never had a business, or B, he did have a business, but it was 20 years ago. And let's put that into perspective. 20 years ago is 2003. That was before the iPhone, before Gmail, and literally even before YouTube, which is probably where you're watching this video right now. So even if he had a business, you know, like 15, 20 years ago, he's certainly not informed on what's going on in 2023. So why the hell am I going to pay to be taught by somebody who's either never done it before or is just teaching outdated information? On top of that, all the updated information is on my phone on Google. It's for free. So why am I going to pay for outdated information? It makes no sense. And the other thing with college is that for four years, five years, however long, you sit there and you read, 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 but you don't do anything about it. And what do you honestly think is a better teacher? A book or a real life experience? Obviously experience. So if I go out and I work for four years, right? And I get experience, I'll probably be making more money than if I had gone to college and I've blown a hundred grand on it and all I did for those four years was sit there and read, read, read and do nothing about it, which is quite literally what college is by the way. And then on top of all of this, my last point in this video is that somehow college has managed to doubly inflate. There's more degrees every single year, right? Which would then theoretically mean that the value of a degree is going to decrease because there's more of them. And somehow, yet the price of getting a degree and going to college just keeps going up every single year. So it's worth less every year, and somehow, miraculously, you just keep paying more year on year. There's no other industry where you could even remotely get away with doing that. And it's bizarre to me too, because people truly think that the government wants college to be affordable for them. No, they don't. 
And they don't because if they do that, then that wipes out the debt of 50 million people. And when you don't have debt, that's one less way that they can then control you. Because the reality is, is that for the people that are in debt to the government, they can't go out and do whatever they want. They have to listen to the government, they have to work a job that they hate, and they have to work these slave-like hours just to get by because they simply have no other choice. Now all the people that I will tell about these things will usually come back and will be like, well, what if you want to be a doctor? And my response is, you know what? You're right, there are some professions that require a degree. I understand. But for the vast majority of people out there, this doesn't apply to them because they don't want to be a doctor or a lawyer or whatever. Most of the time, they don't even know what they want to do. They just go to college and are like, oh, you know what, I'm going to go to college and major in gender studies because you know what, that's what everybody else is doing. And listen, I'm not going to judge you, but all I'm going to say is that you're not going to get the highest ROI from your gender studies degree. So what do you do instead of go to college? Well, my first question is, what do you want to work for? Well, I want to work for my passion and I want to be happy. Fine, whatever. Some people want to do that, that's fine. There's people that want to do what they like, they want to go work at a zoo and take care of animals and all that. Whatever. I really don't care. Oh, you want to make money and have time freedom. Great, awesome. Here's what you do. You build a skill set that is valuable to other people and the market around you. Because you get paid off of how much value you provide to the market and other people. And if you want the truth on how to build a skill set that's valuable, I made a video exactly describing how to. This was a great video to wake you up, but like I said, the next step is in this one right here. So click it, and I'll see you there.